Hello there guys, welcome back to From the Ash. Great to have you here on this channel for yet another Only Fools and Horses in Bristol filming locations video. I thought I was done with these, I gotta be honest. I thought I'd done them all in the previous three videos. If you haven't seen those, do have a look. The link is down below. But you guys enjoyed the first three so much that you sent me all of the locations that I'd missed in your drove. So that's been so helpful because it meant there was enough there for me to come back and do video number four, which is what you're watching right now. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe because there will be more Only Falls and Horses content coming later this year. So subscribe for that. But we're here at location number one on the edge of Bristol. Let's go and have a look and see what we can find today. Location from the final Only Fools and Horses episode. I think it's the only episode it appears in. Sleepless in Peckham is the name of the episode. And right here is where Rodney and Del Boy's mother, Joan Mavis Trotter, is buried. But this right here is where Del Boy and Rodney appear on screen for the final time in Only Fools and Horses history. So this is a really, really iconic location, to be honest. I didn't know it was in Bristol. I'd heard this one was in London, but it, no, it's here in the north of Bristol. And just over here is where her obelisk actually is located. Let me show you. You see this one here and this one here, they are actually in shot. Rodney walks past those as he approaches the obelisk, which I think is right here. So this is the location of uh, well, where Del and Rodney's mother is buried in Only Fools and Horses. They've put some more graves in here in the middle, but this used to be a footpath down the middle. And you can actually see Del Boy and Rodney walking along here with baby Joan, which is Rodney's daughter in the push chair. And just down here actually where my car is parked is where Del Boy actually parks the three wheeled van. He parks it about here, as you can see in the photo. All right, that's location number one done. Let's move on to the next one. As you can see from these buildings over my shoulder, guys, these appear in the episode dates. And this one right here is actually the computer dating agency. What is it? The matrimonial agency or something or other that Del Boy goes to and they hook him up with Raquel. So this is actually quite an important Only Fools and Horses location. But <laughs> forget the ambulance. This is a good one. Only Fools and Horses location in the centre of Bristol. This is the dating agency right here. The place is actually called Bicep Press now. No idea what that is. Tattoo shop maybe, or printers. Really easy one to find this. It's literally minutes away from the city centre. And if you're in Bristol as well, there is tons of graffiti about, which is really worth having a look at as well. This is literally just around the corner from that location. So very, very close. But anyway, that's another Only Fools and Horses location done. Sorry about the noise of the ambulance there. It was pretty loud and pretty busy on that street. But we're gonna move on to another one now. Now then guys, you probably won't recognize this one because the interior is used, but the exterior is not. This is Renato's, it's actually an Italian restaurant, and the interior is used in the episode Sleepless in Peckham, which is the final Only Fools and Horses episode. This right here is where uh, Del Boy, Rodney, Trigger, and Mickey Pierce find Denzel finally and have a discussion about his farmer Giles. That happens right here inside. The exterior is not used, the interior is. Sadly, we can't go inside today because it is closed. I think because of COVID, it might be closed permanently. But I thought I'd show you, seeing as I was driving past, this is Renato's. Ah, uh, there we go, just closed for the time being due to COVID. So you might be able to get in here in the future hopefully. So guys, where I am right now, Gas Ferry Road, it's on the edge of Bristol, it's quite close to the SS Great Britain, which is actually moored here, you can go and visit it, very famous ship made by Brunel, uh, one of the Great Britons of course, but back in the day this was very derelict this area, there was hardly anything here, lots of empty buildings, and this was where Only Fools and Horses filmed for the episode Danger UXD. This is where Del and Rodney, when they realised that those 
faulty blow-up dolls were indeed faulty and filled with a deadly gas, they came right here to actually ditch them, chuck them away, and uh, they threw them somewhere here. This is all being built now, so you can't look at it as it was. So this is where he ditched them, right here, I think, behind where this uh, development is going up right here. Tell you what, ever since those dolls exploded, never fancied a mutton vindaloo since. And just around the corner, just over my shoulder there, you've even got a Banksy, a real Banksy to have a look at. The girl with the pearl earring, it is fenced off, so you can't go up to it. Uh, but I have actually been up to this one before. This fence is quite new, but if you're in the area, I know it's not only Fools and Horses related, but it's worth having a look at a proper Banksy while you're here. There is a restaurant on a boat over my shoulder and that restaurant is called Grain Barn. Back in the day it was called Shoots. It used to be moored somewhere else on the River Avon but right now and for the last 25 years it has been moored right here in this location. You will know it of course as the restaurant from The Chance of a Lunchtime where Rodney and Cassandra try and repair their marriage. They meet right down in here and that is where Rodney asks Cassandra to show him her tan. away and I thought I can't not try and go in so I did pop in with my phone that I'm filming on right now and just asked if I could take a few shots which is what you've just seen so really nice people in there so do pop in if you get the chance and have a little drink. Now following that meal where Rodney and Cassandra reconciled they headed back and they were going to meet back at the apartment however Rodney stopped in first at the nag's head and helped out one of Del Boy's friends. Let's go and have a look at where that happened. So guys, this building right here features in Only Fools and Horses as the nag's head in a few episodes, most notably in the episode The Chance of a Lunchtime, where Rodney, having just been to dinner at the restaurant we were just at on the riverboat, comes here and uh, tells Del Boy that all is well and they're back together. But first he has to help Del Boy's ex-flame Trudy into a taxi right outside here. Cassandra sees it and it all goes wrong. But that happens right here on the edge of Bristol. This used to be a pub. Right now it's actually to let. So I I think it's an empty building again now, which is quite sad. Another Only Fools and Horses landmark gone by the wayside. This one over my shoulder here actually only appears on screen once in Only Fools and Horses, but it is in there. It's in the episode dates. This is Raquel's apartment. She leans out of this window right here, which also happens to be open today, and looks for Del Boy, who has, of course, been arrested. So she heads off through here and uh, goes to do that play in Addis Adaba. Wasn't a particularly easy one to find this one, but I have tracked it down, and there it is. There we go, that was my final location for the video. Don't know if you recognized it, it does look a little different now. But that was the alleyway from Danger at UXD where Del and Rodney buy the famous inflatable dolls from Dirty Barry. A little bit difficult to find this one, it was in the back 
of the Bristol Hippodrome. I don't think I would have found it unless somebody had commented it in the comments of one of my previous videos. So if that was you, thank you so much because it was only because of you that I was able to find this one. Bit of a, you know, a niche one, this one, both in the episode and uh, in real life, but we found it anyway. That was Dirty Barry's shop where the dolls were bought. As you can see, it is now sectioned off. You can't actually go down into the alleyway, but we managed to find it. So there you go, that's a win. And with that, my time exploring Bristol for Only Fools and Horses locations is, I think, over. I've really enjoyed making these videos, and I've got to say, even today, as I was driving across Bristol, I was driving past loads of other Only Fools and Horses locations that I have covered in previous videos. We're talking Nelson Mandela House, we're talking Boyce Autos, we're talking The Market, all these different places that we're so familiar with seeing on Only Fools and Horses. I was driving past them today, but like I say, I have covered them in previous videos, so if you haven't seen those, do have a look. I will link the playlist on screen for you right now above here, and you can have a look at the previous videos. But I do want to do other locations in the UK, so do subscribe for those videos because they're going to be coming really soon. It's great that you guys are watching. That's why I make them, so that people will enjoy them. And we all love Only Fools and Horses. They don't make shows like it anymore. It's precious to each of us, I'm sure. Certainly is for me anyway. I grew up watching it, and I still watch it now. It's a great, great show full of great actors and written by a great man in John Sullivan. Uh, so I just really wanted to celebrate that with these videos. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon for the next one coming real soon. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.